still has about four yards to go. He's going to make it. He's going to run the first four minute mile in the mile walk 359 flat. No doubt about it. Jim Brady has just run the first four minute mile indoor history. Greetings and welcome to Bring Back the Mile's latest installment of Four Minutes with the Miler. Today we're speaking with world champion miler Jenny Simpson. Jenny, welcome to the program and thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. First question, Jenny, was um, as an event, what does the mile have for you in terms of significance? Well, the mile just has such a great legacy and has such a great rich history um, all the way back from when Roger Bannister was going for the four minute mark along with many other people. Um, and so that four-minute threshold kind of begins for, in my mind, kind of this rich history of people's understanding the mile. Um, but for me, as uh, a competitor in the mile, um, it's, it's just so relatable to other people. I love um, when I go and I race the mile and I can tell people my mile PR and stuff because uh, people that don't even really spectate track and field on a really regular basis, they can really wrap their mind around the distance of a mile. Um, compared mm-hmm. to maybe a 5K or a 10K or even a steeplechase, um, you know, they don't they don't always really understand exactly how long that is. So the mile is really fun to talk about as an athlete competing in the event. Mm-hmm. Um, in 2009, you set the, it's still standing, the NCAA Indoor Mile event. Um, when you look back on that um, incredible performance, what emotions do you still have? Oh, that that race itself was so loaded. Um Sally Kid Diego is one of the greatest, uh, greatest NCAA athletes of all time across all sports. Um, she had so many national championships and such a great career. And that was the only race in college uh, that I, I beat her. It was my senior year. It was the last time I was ever going to race her. And mm-hmm. so there were a lot of other things kind of in that mile. And it was a conference championship, so it was huge school pride. Um, it was just really exciting. And the way that I ran it, you know, from the gun, just led it the whole way, uh, I think – that, that race for me in 2009 was kind of a breakthrough, and it really uh, catapulted me into a whole other level um, mentally of racing. Mm-hmm. Um, who are your role models in the mile? Oh, man. I have had the incredible pleasure of knowing um, Jim Ryan and his family for a long time. And uh, when I made my first Olympic team in, in 2008, uh, it was it – was, it was really incredible to have someone like that as a mentor, somebody that really has experienced uh, the the running and racing scene at the highest level, uh, even, you know, back when it was uh, maybe even more popular than today. And so uh, to have someone like that, uh, and that was even back when I was steeplechasing. But, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, I mean, he, he really did have all the weight and the significance and the understanding of the importance of the mile, the event that he ran. Um, and so he's really been able to kind of pass all of the significance and fun and joy of it down onto me and kind of reminds me at different points uh, just to take it all in and, and love it. Mm-hmm. Um, looking forward, Jenny, or do you have any plans to run a mile before the Olympic trials? Probably not before the Olympic trials. And the only, the only reason is because it's not a very readily available event uh, for outdoors. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's one of the things that's exciting about the potential of the mile coming back and maybe being a more regular event. Um, I feel like all the time people ask me, you know, what's what's your fastest time in the mile? And and I have to say, well, I run the 15, and it's really like, you know, 109 meters short of a mile, mm-hmm. but I run this time, so it's probably around this time. And it's just so much explaining to do. It would be really exciting to get out and compete uh, against, against the best uh, milers in the country in a real mile. Mm-hmm. What are your career goals um, over the mile? Do you still have unfinished business in the distance? Absolutely, because my 1,500-meter time is superior to the mile. And Mm -hmm. so it would be really exciting to know that I can run that 1,500-meter time and keep going for another 109 meters and see what kind of barriers I can break in the full mile. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a really exciting event. I've run it more um, indoors than I have outdoors. Um, But but when they they offer the event, it's, it's... really exciting. You can always get good deals because people want to do it. Um, and so there's there's certainly different barriers in the mile I'm still excited about exploring. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's all the time we have for, for today's Four Minutes with a Miler. Jenny, bring back the mile. Really would like to thank you very much and wishes you the best of luck in the upcoming Olympic season. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.